Okay, this is the video um, for reviewing the notes over relations and functions. So our learning target for the video is I can identify whether or not a relation is a function. It's pretty simple. Really, once you kind of get the hang of it, it really applies to pretty much any situation and you should be pretty much good to go. But first, let's get some definitions written down. So our first definition is a relation. Okay, a relation is information that can be represented by a set of ordered pairs. An ordered pair just means points, okay, or something like x comma y. So something that could be a relation is your height, you know, I'm 5'8", versus your shoe size, 9. Okay, I can write this as a point, therefore it's a relation. Okay, another thing is the number of hours you studied for your test and the score you got on it. Okay, so if you studied for two hours, you got a score of 83. Okay, now the points, the first value and the second value have different names. The first value, we could call it an input, which is the same thing as an x value, which is the same thing as the independent variable. And then the second value is the output, which is the same thing as the y value, which is the same thing as the dependent variable. Now, relations are good and dandy, except it's kind of this big, huge thing. Lots and lots of things can be a relation. So we have something, our second definition is what is called a function. Okay, a function is a specific type of relation. Okay, so a function is a relation in which each input, we know inputs are x values, so which input has exactly one output for y. Okay, so something like this. This is what it's called a mapping diagram, where I have my x's over here and my y's over here, and I have arrows connecting the two. So if we look, okay, if this is going to be a function, then each x value has to go to exactly one y value. So let's look. This first point right here goes to exactly this one y. No other y's. This x goes to exactly one y. No others. This x goes to exactly one y. This x goes to exactly one y. And this x goes to exactly one y. So this is a function, yes a function. Okay, It's okay that these two x values go to the same y value. What matters is that each x goes to exactly one y. Okay, So here's a couple more examples that we can see the difference. Here I have my four inputs and each x value goes to exactly one y value. So yes, this is a function. Here, if you look, I have this x value of negative 2, but if you notice, it is now connected, or it goes to two different y values. Okay, So I have an input that now goes to two y values, so that, that makes it not a function. That is what is not okay. If you see things like that, where you have an x with two y's, that tells you it's not a function. Okay, so let's look at a couple more examples of a mapping diagram. So think first in your mind. Decide yes or no, is this a function? Okay, hopefully, hold on. Hopefully you got that it is not a function. Okay, there's a couple reasons. A, if you notice, the 5 here goes to three different outputs. That's not okay, okay? But also, 4 and 3 don't go to anything. What we need is like the 1 and 2, where each 1 goes to this one, and 2 goes to this one. Okay, so I would, in your notes, write an example, or if you want to copy these examples down, okay, get an example in your notes of one that is a function, a mapping diagram, and a mapping diagram that is not a function. Okay, um, 
get those down in your notes, maybe write an explanation. Okay, negative 2 here goes two outputs, and that's not okay. Okay, let's look at tables. Okay, functions can also be represented as a table. Okay, table where you have the inputs listed, the outputs listed. This table is a function, because if we see every input, okay, negative 1, goes to exactly one output, in this case 5. 0 goes exactly to 3, 1 goes to 4, 2 goes to 7, 3 goes to 4. So that is a function. What is not okay if you look at this table, okay, here I have an input. I have 4, and in this case 4 goes to two different outputs. That is what is not okay. This is what makes it not a function. Okay, so kind of the hint is to look at the x values, and if you see any x values that repeat, a, that tells you that they're going to go to two different outputs and make it not a function. Okay, so look at this table. Decide, is this a function, yes or no? Hopefully you decided, yes, it is a function. Okay, function, yes. Because every x value here goes to exactly one y value. Okay, look at this table. Okay, is this one a function? Decide yes or no. Hopefully you decided that it is not a function. Okay, it's not a function here because I have these two repeating inputs. And that makes it not okay. Not a function. Okay, so make sure get in your notes two tables where one is a function and one is not a function. If you want to click pause and copy these down, you can. Okay, let's look at points now. Okay, points similar to a um, table, okay, where I just list. I have the x values, I have the y values. Okay, these four points make a function because each x value is unique and goes to one output. Okay, it is okay if you look I know that I have two outputs that are the same, but that is okay. It is the x values we care about. Okay, so each input is going to exactly one output. Okay, contrast it to this. This one is not a function, because if you see, I have my four that repeats. So I have a four that goes to two outputs. And I also have my three that repeats. Okay. These repeating ones make it not a function. Okay, so look at these points. Do these points make it a function? Hopefully you said no, that this is not a function. It is not a function because my sixes here repeat. Okay, so I have an input that goes to two different outputs. Okay, so look at this one. Is this one a function? Hopefully you decided, yes, it's a function. Because each x value here is different, is unique. It's okay that they all go to five. Okay, but what's not okay is the x values repeating. Okay, so in your notes, maybe jot these down or write your own example. Okay, last thing we're going to look at is the graph. Okay, if you look here, this is a graph of just individual points. And we need to decide if it is a function. So I'm going to look at what these points are. So B here, this is 3 comma 2. D here is 3 comma negative 1. Now if you notice, I have the same x value in each one. That is what cannot happen. Okay, remember we want each x value to be unique. And since these two have the same x value, it makes this graph not a function. The same thing would happen over here in dots A and E. Okay, A being negative 2 comma 3 and E being negative 2 comma negative 4. Okay, these x values repeat. So that makes it not a function. Okay, now if you notice, you can see that pretty easily because these two dots 
And these two dots make a vertical line. This is what is called the vertical line test. Okay, the vertical line test is a visual way, okay, where you can just look at a graph and determine if a graph is a function or not. If a vertical line intersects a graph more than once, then for one value of x, the curve does not represent a function. Okay, so if you look here, okay, it's pretty easy to do along with your pencil. If I take my pencil around, okay, and my pencil is never going to cross the graph more than one time, then I know it's a function. Okay, any vertical line I draw will only ever cross one time. But here, I can draw a vertical line, and it's going to cross two times, and that makes it not a function. Same thing on this graph. I can draw a vertical line, whoops, and that's going to cross two times, and that makes it not a function. Okay, so look at this graph. Can I draw a vertical line that's going to cross more than one time? No, okay? Every vertical line I draw is only going to cross the graph exactly once. So that makes this graph a function. Okay, and then last example, this one right here. Is this one a function? No, because you can draw a vertical line and it's going to cross three times. So that makes it not a function. Good. Hopefully we kind of have a good understanding. Okay, and you can go now and work on your homework. If you have any more questions, okay, please come in for tutorials and let me know. Good luck.